Hey everyone, it's the local lab back again with some huge news in the world of open source AI. Remember Phi 3 Mini, that surprisingly powerful small language model from Microsoft? Well, hold on to your hats because it just got a major upgrade, and I'm breaking it all down for you today. If you're new to the channel, Phi 3 Mini is a 3.8 billion parameter language model that blew everyone away with its performance despite its small size. Now, this update flew under the radar for a bit, but thankfully, a software developer caught it and shared the good news on Twitter. This isn't just a few tweaks, guys, we're talking big improvements. As you can see, the list is pretty extensive. We've got significant improvements to code understanding across multiple languages like Python, C++, Rust, and even TypeScript. Structured output is way better meaning it can generate things like JSON and XML much more reliably. And get this, multi-turn conversations and long context understanding just got a huge boost. They've even added support for the system tag for better control over the model's behavior. But let's talk numbers. Check out these benchmark results. In areas like code understanding and long context tasks, Phi 3 Mini is absolutely crushing it compared to its previous version. For example, in the repo QA benchmark, which tests code understanding, the model saw a massive improvement in understanding Python code jumping from 27 to 85. And remember how I said long context got better? Well, in the GovReport benchmark, which involves summarizing long government documents, the model's performance shot up to 25.3 outpacing larger models such as Mistral 7B, Mixtral, and Llama 38B. The best part? This updated version is available right now completely for free. You can download it from Hugging Face and start experimenting on your own machine. And if you want to test it out without any setup, Azure AI Studio has got you covered. All right, enough talk. Let's put this updated Phi 3 Mini 128K model to the test. I've lined up a few questions to gauge its knowledge, reasoning abilities, and of course, how it handles those long-form texts. Let's start with a simple current events question. I asked the model, who won the NBA Finals? The most recent NBA Finals, as of my last update April 2023, were won by the Golden State Warriors. Okay, so it named the Warriors who won back in 2022, but it did also acknowledge its knowledge cutoff is April 2023. So this is not too bad. Let's try another one. I asked, who are the two candidates running for the presidential elections? Interesting, it again mentions the April 2023 cutoff, but correctly identifies Biden and Trump. Given the rapidly changing political landscape, this is pretty impressive for a model trained on data prior to that date. This was a good answer. Now, let's test its reasoning skills with a classic riddle. I asked, a boy and a doctor were fishing. The boy is the doctor's son, but the doctor isn't the boy's father. Who is the doctor? The model responded with, the solution lies in understanding that the boy must be the doctor's son-in-law. This would mean that the doctor is married to the boy's mother. Hmm, not quite. It seems to have overcomplicated things and struggled a bit with this one. The answer is simply that the doctor is the boy's mother. Let's try a different kind of reasoning question. I asked, what has a heart but no other organs? The model said, a deck of cards. Yes, it got it. Many models I've tested in the past tend to struggle with this one. I'm glad to see the right answer here. Now for something a little more challenging. Let's see how it handles a more complex scenario. I asked, a valuable necklace was stolen from a mansion. The police found a suspicious fingerprint on the windowsill. They know that three people were in the mansion last night with access to the necklace. Emma, who has a history of theft. Michael, who has a similar fingerprint pattern and Rachel, who was seen arguing with the necklace's owner earlier that day. However, 
The police also discovered that Emma has a rock-solid alibi for the time the necklace was stolen, and Michael's fingerprint pattern is not an exact match, and Rachel already has a similar necklace that she is known to wear prior to the theft. Explain who most likely stole the necklace. The model answered, We can deduce that Michael is the most likely suspect for the theft of the necklace. Here's the reasoning. Emma, despite having a history of theft, has a rock-solid alibi for the time of the theft. Therefore, she could not have committed the crime. Rachel was seen arguing with the necklace owner which could indicate a motive. However, the fact that she owns a similar necklace that she is known to wear before the theft introduces reasonable doubt. It suggests that Rachel might be the owner of the necklace, and it was not stolen from her. Michael, while not having an exact fingerprint match, shares a similar fingerprint pattern to the one found at the scene. In the absence of other strong evidence, this connection makes Michael the most likely suspect. While the fingerprint pattern is not an exact match, in forensic investigation partial matches can still be a significant lead. Wow. Okay, so it chose Michael. Even though I'm not looking for any specific answer here, I'm actually a little surprised. I was leaning towards Rachel, but the way it reasoned through each suspect is pretty impressive. It considered each piece of evidence and eliminated possibilities logically. The thought process behind picking Michael is interesting suggesting that the partial fingerprint match could still be sufficient evidence. I like it. Now, let's push its long context abilities to the limit. I've taken this research paper on Mixture of Agents by Together AI which clocks in at a hefty 12,000 tokens, and I'm going to ask it to summarize it for me. And there you have it, a comprehensive, well-detailed summary that accurately captures the key points of the paper. I have to admit that this was very good and was executed pretty fast. This is definitely a check in my book. Finally, let's see if it can handle a truly massive amount of text and try this needle in a haystack test. This time, I've got a 150-page book on improving memory a whopping 50,000 tokens. I've hidden a secret password within the text. Let's see if Phi 3 Mini can find it. Okay, so it summarized the book, but no sign of the password yet. Let's nudge it a bit. I'll ask it specifically to list the secret password from the text. No way. It actually found it. 50,000 tokens, and it managed to locate the hidden password. The needle in a haystack test doesn't appear to affect Phi much at 50,000 context. This is great because most people don't really have much use for context higher than this anyways. Microsoft has seriously outdone themselves with this Phi 3 Mini update. It's amazing to see such a compact model perform so well across various tasks, from code generation and reasoning to handling massive amounts of text. This is a huge win for the open source AI community. If you haven't already, I highly recommend checking it out. I'll put links to both the Hugging Face page and Azure AI Studio in the description below. Let me know in the comments what you plan to create with this powerhouse of a model. And as always, if you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting AI news and tutorials. Until next time.